residents have been saying it for years, and now geologists agree. Oil and gas drilling operations are triggering earthquakes in the U.S. state of Oklahoma. The number of quakes has skyrocketed recently, and there's been a lot of debate about the exact cause. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi reports. Near Guthrie, Oklahoma, sits an oil and gas well that runs around the clock. 24 hours they pump. They put them right by everybody's house. Go around and take pictures and you'll see. An hour's drive away lives another resident of oil and gas country who's not real happy these days. I mean, it's a mess. It's like living in a war zone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for my picks. Let's go. Here's ahead. what's gotten a lot of Oklahomans riled up. Uh, Kansas State playing. Uh, we just had an earthquake. There are near daily occurrences here. Well over 5,000 earthquakes shook Oklahoma in 2014, far more than just five years ago. The rate changes are unprecedented. In Oklahoma, the number of earthquakes has essentially multiplied times by 40. Which begs the question. What's causing the earthquakes? Man-made. Mark Crisman's suspicion is supported by researcher Matthew Weingarten, who found the underground injection of huge amounts of wastewater from oil and gas operations likely triggered a bunch of earthquakes. Pore pressure or fluid pressure changes were propagating tens of kilometers away from these very, very high rate injection wells, such that they were moving to the area where earthquakes were occurring. There and there and there and there. The Oklahoma Geological Survey now agrees with that conclusion that many of the magnitude two and three earthquakes Crisman has recorded on his seismometer were caused by wastewater disposal. Crisman says those quakes have taken a toll on his home and him. Lost a lot of sleep in the last couple, three years on account of them. Chrisman says a 3.3 earthquake shook the house so much last October that kitchen cabinet doors won't close completely now. He says the molding on the kitchen ceiling came loose. You see the crack right there. And yet in a state that's rich in oil and gas production, attempts to place limits on oil companies are often met with resistance. We were blessed to have the minerals underneath our feet. The minerals are what help pay the bills. My grandpa often said it is the best calf on the farm. The Oklahoma Independent Petroleum Association won't comment on the wastewater earthquake linkage, but some residents say more regulations are needed and that those quakes have got to stop. If I want to stay in Oklahoma, I want a safe place. And right now, it's not feeling so safe. It's frustrating that we're not being protected. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Logan County, Oklahoma.